Another special night under the lights of BMO Field as Toronto FC punches their ticket to the next round of the 2019 MLS Cup playoffs. I am Gareth Wheeler, your TFC Insider, presented by the all-new Kia Telluride. Michael Bradley been there, done that before. He and this team have faced adversity time and time again. Tonight it took a special kind of response for this team to come back from conceding in stoppage time to really bring the team back to life, entering extra time. Bradley tells me, speaking to him post game, that there's times as a leader where you remain quiet, just let players process what actually happened and just let them deal with the situation in their own heads. This wasn't one of those times. Bradley felt like he needed to lift the group. He needed to stay animated. It was about maintaining and making sure that there was eye contact, that heads were up and players understood what was needed in terms of their overall performance, giving them a lift for that extra time period. The team responded with four goals. The message was simple, stay aggressive and believe in one another. And that's exactly what they did. Now speaking with other players post-match, it brought back memories of 2016, when Toronto FC, one of the most memorable games played here at BMO Field, scored two goals in a matter of two minutes in extra time against the Montreal Impact. Now this time around, the goals were scored on the other end. Drew Moore tells me, well, there's never anything that's dull about Toronto FC. Says that that's exactly what was going through his mind. Speaking with head coach Greg Vanny, he actually told me he was watching that Montreal game from 2016 this past week as the game was being replayed on television and he smirked to himself on the touchline as those goals went in, thinking, is this deja vu all over again? Jonathan Azorio said the exact same thing except he said this time it just kept on getting better and better. Funny thing about 2016, it brings back memories of playing New York City FC in the playoffs who TFC played this upcoming week. It was an emphatic statement, 5-0 away victory at Yankee Stadium, Toronto FC. I asked Bradley if they'll look back on that night and take it with them forward. He says some players in the group will. The fact that he playing in the middle with Azorio and Marky Delgado. The fact that Justin Moro's in this team, Drew Moore, Subasa Endo, so many familiar faces that had that experience, that's something that they can grab a hold of. But some of these new players in the group, they'll look back upon their games this season. A 4-0 victory over New York here at BMO Field and a 1-1 draw at Yankee Stadium in a game where it wasn't for a save penalty late, TFC should have, would have, could have won that game. There's good vibes and Bradley says TFC regularly shows up and plays top-notch football against New York City FC. That's the message, albeit in a different place, at City Field coming this Wednesday night. What kind of response to expect? Well, the team has depth, certainly has heart, and they showed their character here tonight. We'll see it all on display Wednesday night as TFC's playoff march continues.